hey you guys and what is up and welcome back to my channel today is friday actually i'm gonna try to edit this as soon as i'm done with recording it and post it um i'm not gonna do anything crazy i honestly did not record throughout the week the way i had planned but um i originally my plan was to record a weekly vlog like a week in my life type of situation eventually i'm gonna get in the rhythm of doing those but today is not one of those um honestly i had such a crazy week i started like currently about to log off like i have like a minute left like seconds left of my current job like obviously so i already finished everything that i had to do now i just have to like log off um but i figured i would start off i would kick off the vlog to say hi welcome back to my channel um we are gonna just have like a date like a night an evening in my life and just we're honestly gonna chat we're gonna talk we're gonna do um girly pop stuff like reading i have my kindle in here this is like all of my electronic stuff that I'm going to take downstairs along with my little planner. I wanted to chat with you all about my planner situation that I have going on here and read a little bit. So we'll chat about that, but I have, ooh, I have everything that I need pretty much ready to go so I can log off and head downstairs. So that's the, the plan. But anyways, I did want to show you all something I've been working on that I'm like super excited about. I have to when we go downstairs, I'll show it to y'all. But anyways, yeah, I'm just kicking off the vlog. Um, I did order some food. That was the one thing that I wanted to do for myself today. Matthew's not home. Um, I feel like he's like never home, honestly. But he's not home today. He had to work early and left. By the way, excuse my mess back there. I've been purging stuff and it's still there. But anyways, um... Matthew, I feel like he always, like, leaves to go places, but today he went to, um, a concert. I don't know. I'll have to ask him what the concert is, and I'll put it up on the screen so y'all can see who he's seeing. Is it Jack? Jack? I don't know. I don't know who he's gonna see, but he's gonna go see this, um, artist that apparently is really popular. Um, he got off of work early, and he took an Uber there, and um because the parking situation in that area is like really not ideal so he took he took took he took an uber there and i'm gonna pick him up after so that works out and gives me some time to like be alone by myself and just like relax and take in all the vibes i ordered some food i ordered um i'm pretty sure it's like a salad like a salad bowl from um from chewies so i'm pretty excited about that and um we're gonna read and just catch up on my planner i do know that for tomorrow i'm planning on not doing anything other than the stuff that is already planned i've been feeling really like overwhelmed honestly like just a lot of stuff has been I, I don't think it's that I have a lot of stuff going on as much as me mentally I haven't been feeling good, you know. I haven't really been really feeling the greatest so because of that I've been getting easily overwhelmed. Um, just a whole lot of feelings and emotions and stuff so I'm pretty um, excited to have an open Saturday. Uh, we have obviously church from 9 to 11 and then I have my friends... Um, cheer showcase so then i'm gonna go to i'm gonna go to that by myself most likely because each wristband is like 25 dollars and i already bought mine but i haven't bought one for matthew and since he's out and about like spending money today i want to maybe not have to do that tomorrow so i could probably go by myself and hang out but then after that i'm planning on coming home and just having a relaxing evening and recording my planner video so y'all should be seeing this either tonight so friday night or Saturday morning and then um, the plan is to record the planner video Saturday night I need to get more in a routine of like when I'm recording content um, hold on you guys I forgot I need to obviously close on my computer but um, there it goes it's off but I need to get on like a like a content routine like a when do I like record like when do i you know just record my content more than anything like i've been putting it on like mondays and fridays but i need to make sure to like either be re actually recording throughout the day maybe dedicate time to do that make sure that i'm recording the content i feel like i haven't gotten in the the swing of doing that but i really need to 
figure something out because I, I feel like I've been doing pretty good at keeping up with my YouTube channel. Um, but anyways, I figured since I am going to post this before I record the planner video, um, let me know if y'all have like anything that y'all want to see. Like, um, I don't know, maybe like, I know that I want to do a plan with me, but if we don't, like it's going to be this layout that I'm going to decorate or just not really decorate because my planner videos are really not like that we just basically chat it up so i guess like let me know if there's anything specific that y'all wanted me to do or like whatever as far as like planners it can be journal it can be we can do like a i don't know book video whatever because i am going to be reading my book i'm actually reading the christmas tree farm so i'm pretty excited about that and yeah i'm gonna go ahead and head downstairs because it is currently 5 30 and my food should be getting here at around 6 so I ordered it without priority, um, so it saved me like a buck, but I was like, whatever, that's perfect, because then I get off at 5.30ish, and I can head downstairs, get situated downstairs, and then um, I can get my food shortly after. But anyways, I'm going to head downstairs, and then we can chat some more and hang out a little bit more, so yeah, I'll talk to you in a bit. So one of the things I wanted to show you all is this, I've been working on this like all week and this is my, um, technically she's my cousin because she is Matthew's cousin and obviously I'm married into the family, but she got married um, this past weekend and this is her bouquet. So I dried it up. It was totally unplanned for. I think it looks gorgeous i don't know this is my first time ever doing this i actually bought a kit let me show you all i literally still have everything here it looks gross but this is like the little kit that i bought it's on amazon so it's like literally like thick felt and these like i don't know this is what it looks like and you put it together but yeah this is what i use let me turn the camera around but yeah, that is what I used to dry up the flowers. And it's crazy. Originally, we hadn't even planned on it. We actually, um, she had like a ton of like centerpieces. Hold on, this is crooked. She had a ton of centerpieces that were like natural flowers. And at the end of the wedding, like they took off obviously. And then like some of the bridesmaids and like immediate family stayed behind to like help out, like clean up the area. And I was one of those just to help out as much as possible and um her aunt her aunt her grandma technically matthew's aunt was like y'all take centerpieces because like there's just too many flowers they're gonna go to waste if y'all don't take them we're like say less so i took a centerpiece for myself and then matthew and i were already like walking out already like in the car and matthew was like we should go take another one like there had to be at least like 30 like there were so many and matthew was like i should go back and grab another one and maybe you can dry up the flowers for her and you can make something for her and give it to her i was like you know that sounds amazing like that's such a cute idea so he ran back grabbed me another little centerpiece they came in these really really I, this is still has water in it and came in these beautiful vases and i was like you know i would love a vase so i'm gonna do it <laughs> so we dried up the flowers and then i showed a little bit of the process on instagram and she i messaged her and i was like i'm drawing flowers from your centerpieces and figured i could make you a little something she's like oh my gosh annabelle she's like you have no idea so she said that she um had looked up to see how much it was to get her bouquet preserved and she they had quoted her quoted her between basically 400 and a thousand dollars and i was like oh my gosh that's ridiculous and i told her i was like this is how i'm doing it like if you want to you can try it i was like or if you want like i'm more than happy to help i feel comfortable enough to be able to do it like i'm not going to ruin it like if you want to give me your flowers since it's like two days after and we can do this and she's like yes so she um overnighted them to me because she had already left town she was already in dallas she overnighted them to me and i was able to preserve them all i still have a ton of flowers let me show you all so i still have a ton of flowers like these down here these are from like the centerpieces and stuff but um i was able to preserve her bouquet which was obviously like the most important one so it looks gorgeous i i think it turned out pretty good for it being my first time doing this and it's i secured it on there it doesn't obviously look the greatest from the back like it actually surprisingly does not look that bad so um in order to secure it onto the the plexiglass is that what it's called the like hard plastic part that's on the back 
um, I use Mod Podge, so just this, and I already had it, because I mean, obviously I'm a crafter, so I've had a ton of this, and I just used Mod, um, used Mod Podge in a, like a paintbrush, like a really thin paintbrush to kind of get it a little bit on the dried flowers and just stick it on the, the base. And then I stuck a little bit on these and just started building it from there. So I think it turned out beautiful and I'm really happy that I was able to do this to her for her. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to ship it to her or if she wants me to like, um, if she wants to meet halfway or if she's going to be in town anytime soon. But I have it and I'm excited to give it to her. The only thing I had thought... So, okay, I moved angles. The only thing I had thought about doing was maybe adding the, the date here or something. But Matthew was like, as much as I like vinyl, he's like, I, I feel like it's going to cheapen it out. So, I may leave it as is. And then, I don't know if she wants me to add it later on. I'm obviously glad to do so. But I think it looks gorgeous. I'm obsessed. So, my food is here. And I'm watching Basically Unfiltered. Um, subscribe to their Patreon. Best Patreon I'm subscribed to by far so i'm excited to get my to open up my food and start eating i'll show y'all once i unbox it once i take it out of the bag there's caesar okay this is my food i ordered a little salad it has guac cheese all the goodies i got some chips and here is their famous 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 jalapeno creamy jalapeno salsa so i'm so excited i'm gonna add some of that to it and get started they also gave me some regular red salsa but i'm not gonna use this i'll probably save this though because i like making like um eggs with like like chilaquiles or whatever so yeah i'm excited so this is my food all right you guys so i'm coming back at you closing out this vlog because here i was like yeah we're gonna have a cute little evening fun little chat whatever um y'all i came downstairs my food came in i ate a little bit of my salad because i was really hungry and i took a nap that being said, I was really tired. I think I'm going to start my period or something. I don't know. If y'all don't know, I have PCOS. I kind of talked about it briefly on like probably one of my like sit and chats or whatever. Um, I have PCOS, but I've been taking my OBGYN. I talked about it recently. My OBGYN gave me progesterone to try to like regulate me a little bit. Uh, but with that being said, I've also been taking like supplements and stuff. And I actually think it's kind of helping and I think I'm going to start my period. So I feel like exhausted and my back hurts a lot. And I'm having like honestly kind of like cramps. So it's hard to say because I, I'm not used to like really having a period. I think in my lifetime I've had maybe like under 20 periods. So that's crazy. Um, and I started my period when I was like in the like sixth grade so that that that's a long time and for me to have only that many periods so i really don't know what the struggle is like but the struggle sucks if it feels like this um but yeah i fell asleep so this is why my hair is a mess and why i'm like just now reporting back i guess it's literally just to say um bye <laughs> Because I didn't record anything all week. Ugh, I failed, y'all. I don't know. I think I'm going to change instead of... I'm trying to figure out still when I want to post my vlogs. So I'm thinking maybe instead of doing them on Friday, I try to commit to like recording over the weekend. And maybe I can post it like a Wednesday or Thursday type, type of video. Um, so it gives me time to like edit um, like the weekend vlog type of thing. I think that would be really nice. Um, I don't know. What do y'all think? It's just like kind of hard because I, I keep telling myself like, yeah, I'll record like, a this, this sweater is like, it's not a sweater. It's like a, like a long sleeve shirt. It's like soft and I keep wanting to like put it, like when I was laying down falling asleep, I was like this, <laughs> but, um, I forgot what I was saying. Yeah. I just want to figure out when I want to record because I keep saying like, yeah, I'll post on, I'll post my vlogs on Friday. But I don't give myself time to record throughout the week. Um, like maybe I could do like a, like a work in the life or whatever once every now and then. 
um but i i think during the week i just focus too much on actually like work and i feel like especially right now i hate this time of the year where it like gets dark so early so i get off of work at 5 30 and i have like 20 30 minutes and it's already like nighttime and that is super annoying like i hate it so much so i really don't record much in the evenings or um, even throughout the day because I'm so focused with work so it's like a whole thing so maybe I'll start recording um, on the weekends and like posting on like Wednesday Thursday uh, but we'll definitely see about that but I did want to close this like I was gonna say vlog it's not a vlog I wanted to close this video off because I really did want to try to post it even if it was just me talking for like 10 minutes I still wanted to post it because I asked y'all what y'all thought about Sunday's video if I should post like a plan with me uh, we can even do like a book video i think that would be lots of fun uh, really anything so like let me know give me y'all suggestions um i'm really i feel although i didn't record all this week for my vlog i feel really encouraged um as far as like my youtube channel for a while there i wasn't really like posting very much and lately i feel like i've kept up with it and i, I don't know like youtube really makes me excited like i i don't know Hold on, my hand's getting tired. I don't know if it's like the long form content, um, but honestly, I feel like it. Ki I kind of use it like a kind of like a journal where I just like talk about everything and anything with y'all. Like I literally feel like y'all are like my friends. Like we're sitting down having like brunch together or dinner or whatever and just hanging out and chatting away and it, it may not be it may not seem like it but it's like very therapeutic for me so in a way like y'all are like my besties so i appreciate y'all watching even if it's like two of y'all or one of y'all watching i love you guys but i'm gonna go ahead and close it off here so y'all can give me y'all suggestions um and i love you guys so i'll see y'all i'll talk to y'all on sunday so bye